I made the title of this Hope Addiction because I help people that have mental health issues and addiction and uh, in my own life I think I've become a little bit addicted to hope and people might say well you know is it good or is it bad to be addicted to being hopeful and I have to tell you this year I lost my little brother to a heroin overdose and that was a really tough challenging thing and it's hard to find hope when you're going through a tough situation like that and I've worked with a lot of people that face depression or bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or relationship issues and it's so hard to have hope you know when you lose someone you love or when you are going through a hard hard time but hope is really the most valuable thing we can have in our life because if everything is dark and not really hopeful there's almost no reason to continue and you end up going through the day just expecting bad things to happen I want to share a little story I heard about which is really encouraging about hope they did a, a test uh, where they did some research and they put a thing of mice in a uh, bathtub and in one bathtub it was complete darkness they couldn't see the light at the top of it and they were just literally in the darkness and the mice ended up drowning pretty quickly and didn't keep going and they did the same test again but with light at the top of the bathtub and they said that the mice swam for almost 10 hours rather than just a few minutes it's because they had hope they thought that maybe something could get better maybe the situation would improve maybe there would be some light at the end of a very dark tunnel and I know in my own life you know I faced a very severe battle with mental illness including five psychiatric hospitals and a very rough couple of years and I had to develop the ability to have hope to think that maybe the medicine would work or maybe I could get back to going to school. Even a top doctor tried to take away the hope and said, oh, he'll never finish high school or he'll never work. He'll never get into a relationship. He'll never have a job. And my mom is hugely positive and she has such hope and she kept going and persisting and eventually she found another doctor and the new doctor had hope and kept trying and gave me a new medicine and eventually I got back on track and I went back and finished high school, finished college, got my master's degree in social work, created rap therapy, made a documentary about it, I've written four books, I've been on many national television shows from getting engaged on Dr. Phil and doing a national media tour with Dr. Drew Pinsky and putting videos on Oprah.com and having over 300 videos on YouTube and many other amazing things and all of it is because I had hope and that even when things were challenging or dark I kept pressing forward and kept believing that life could go on and maybe get better and even this year losing my little brother to a heroin overdose my grandmother died she got sick and it was very stressful my other grandmother had a very severe stroke but I kept positive and hopeful and the addiction to hope is the best thing I've ever had in my life and you know what it's really not an addiction it's a way of living it's a way of figuring out how to find the light even when things are dark and in our world there's been so much going on but it's those of us that keep pressing on and keep developing a positive enthusiastic attitude that will see the light we're the ones that are going to help press this world forward we're the ones that are going to be more encouraged we're going to help those that have fallen and pick them up and be their rock because even in my own life being positive I've inspired my family I've helped them I've helped other clients that are struggling this year with other issues and I know the book I've written can inspire even more people so when you get that hope in your life it becomes contagious and you can share it with others I'd love you to see the book I wrote you can get it on Amazon or on my website we do coaching on bipolaronline.com that's bipolaronline.com and support the book the book is a great book for anyone wanting encouragement and hope you can go on Amazon right now and get it. It's called Depression, Bipolar, and Heroin. That's Depression, Bipolar, and Heroin, Lessons Learned from Losing My Brother to Addiction. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope the hope spreads to you. I hope watching this video you feel a little more hopeful. You feel a little more energized, and the hope gets somewhere deep into your mind and heart, and you continue to press on. No matter what you've been facing or what has happened, hope can take over and allow you to get your life better. So thanks for watching this. And I pray that your situation gets better and better and that one day you're filled with a huge amount of hope and light. Thanks for watching.